and welcome back to the Kerbal Space Mo Program Done Hard Mode. Uh, my name's Steve Root, and let's get Cray. We, uh, we completed a, um... We completed a, a contract at the very end there, before I said, uh, Huru. And, uh, we'll just be continuing with, um, more, I think. More contracts. So it's coming from the start. It's going to be a long process, I think. So there's a couple of good contracts for us. It's going to yield pretty good science and some, you know, incremental reputation gains, which is cool. So let's uh, complete it. Yeah. What we need to test is liquid fuel engine, radial decoupler. It'll be 909. The radial decoupler. This one. All we want is a one, right? Minimize costs. And what we want to do is actually test this as well. So this one, right, needs to come down here along with that. And we're just going to turn the thrust off. Okay. Oops. Cancel. Save. Launch. Okie dokie. Now that's all landed. That's wonderful. Let's see how we go. We can play the contracts. Wonderful. A good bit of solids there. Steadily getting somewhere with the uh, with the reputation and the sites too, which is which is good. This is all T three stuff. Now, two things I'm keen to get is the cathane detector and also the, the radar. So that would be really cool. We could put something in orbit namely a probe core and get some scanning happening that would be really really awesome we can make that happen so now that's pretty quick for the way in thinking no we'll never get that up that high all right let's just gun for orbit Kerbin Take that. We'll take that as well. This is free money. That's uh, we're going to be struggling very shortly for uh, cash and also reputation. But uh, if we can do this. This would be very, very good. So let's see if we can build it. So this will be the Alpha 2. Parachute, first thing. Wonderful. Now. That costs us nothing, so we'll put that on. Okay, 
Now the question is, <laughs> are they out of the way enough to not get roasted off um, on re-entry? They don't cost much, so hopefully they they are able to dodge it. Uh, now, what we're going to want is something, something like this, with one of these maybe? 2.7. Good thrust to weight ratio, that's huge. Alright, so we'll go with that. This is gonna need some some parts on it, I'm thinking. I wish oh that's freaking cool how yeah, we can do that now. I was just about to say, I wish we could do that. Turns out we can. Oh yeah. What have we got? 1.4, 5.6 total. The weight is a little bit low, so let me just see. Yep, we need it. Let me just see if we can. Wrong. Sneak on two of these. Right. What does that push us to? get the staging right. Three meters per second in the first stage. Uh, three. Three point oh. Thr thrust of weight in the first stage. That's crazy. Uh, so we'll just need to see if we can limit this down a little bit. One point. One point eight is probably a good number. Uh, yeah, we'll keep it at one point eight. These will just take the boosters away from the main craft when I stage them. Okay, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Okay, they need to be on the same stage as that. No, they're the big ones. I want the little ones. Stage the little ones. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Now this top stage is probably completely uh, disposable. I'm not. I don't think we'll get that back. But the uh, the bottom stage, we should be able to recoup a bit of that. in there as well, wonderful. That has no symmetry on it. It does have symmetry on it, but it's really weird. Okay. Hopefully problem fixed. Yeah, getting those boosters away from the craft is going to be very important. Let's just uh, find a certain button here.
Seems like uh, it'll all be fine if I'm reading that right. Okay, so to start, what we're going to do is light off everything. It's going to go crazy. It's going to go bonkers. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Let's just have a look. So, Bill currently doesn't have any kind of achievements to his name. So we're going to throw him in, because he's made it this far. I'm going to see if we can get this to orbit. Could be fun. Radio. Now this actually. Yep. So this is wonderful. This is actually going to fulfil this contract too while we're going, because that's going to fulfil the landed uh, landed conditions. Now we're going to have to hit uh, go pretty quickly, because I'm worried that this thing will tilt. Straighten up. Don't fucking tilt on me. What are you doing? Wait. Hey, where's. This is not a good time. This is gonna get real fun real fast. The good news is we're still going along the east line. The bad news is we're spinning. Feels like we're in like a pseudo uh, gravity turn currently. <laughs> this is uh, hmm, interesting, to say the least. That was interesting. I just realised that we're actually on the wrong. Whoa, 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 We are on the wrong line here. We need to be on this line. Gee whiz. Some pretty, uh, pretty poor flying on my behalf. Okay, now that's a way that makes a little bit more sense to me. Our inclination is um, ruined. Now I'm not going to worry actually about fixing that. This is just going to cost me too much in fuel. Speaking of which, we're doing okay. So we'll just uh, review the report and then transmit it. No, that's our atmosphere. Right, so that's fine. Wonderful. Now what we'll do is we'll just uh, we'll stage here. Once we get up here, what we can do is we can. What have we got in the vessel? 2.7. We got tons, mate. Tons. Actually, there's the Alpha 1. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't recover that. Derp, derp, derp. Okay, all we need is a uh, 250. And enough to get home, of course. Now, the next issue will be. Uh, Yep, so we got that on the way out, that's wonderful. The next issue will be battery power. So hopefully we uh, we do have enough. Right, let's skip forward a little bit. Oh. Uh, 
tau. Uh, actually, the nodes, the nodes are right there. Whoops. Okay, uh, go full power. And what's the matter? Okay. Activate the engine. Go. Oh, press the button. What button? This button? No, the other button. Press it. Well, we'll transmit as much as we can before we lose contact. And go around the other side of the planet. The other thing is, once we hit the apoapsis, right, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll immediately perform a braking maneuver to get us back down and hopefully hopefully land near uh, KC but uh, as I said battery power is an issue we've got enough uh, consumables in the pod to, to last for a while Oop, no, keep going more and there is an apoapsis of 260 perfect right we'll close them down we don't need the Kerbal Engineer anymore. Close the clock. We've uh, achieved our contract. Should give us another 50,000 funds. Keep us going for a little bit anyway. We'll get another crew report. Nope, nothing. Right. We'll just time warp. Actually, let me just uh, turn it off. SAS doesn't actually um, do anything, which is a shame. Should save you some power you'd power things down in the craft, but anyway. So we might be okay. Right, just uh, slow down, get a crew report. Do we have... No. Just do a quick EVA, hopefully it doesn't kick me. Okay, so we've got an EVA. We've got a uh, SAS on. We've got some science. We've done some things. We are looking peachy. Now what we're going to have to do, right, is we're going to actually have to do our deal with burn in such a way that it actually puts us back over here somewhere. The easiest way to do that is actually to do it this way. Whoops. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just thinking that we burn something like this. This will uh, fix things for us. Periapsis is coming down. So freaking inclined, this orbit. It's horrible. Okay, there we go. We've got something to uh, to work with now.
continue working away on this. Just trying to get a nice. Whoa. You know what? I think I'm happy with that. You know what the only problem is though? I didn't put a stage in between this. Oh shit. Um, crap. I just... Um, I was just fully staged that parachute. Oh crap, this could go real bad. Real, real bad. Mm-hmm. We're in trouble. I just had no shit moment. Let's get the craft around retrograde. Why can I not cut it and repack it? Because that is so going to get destroyed. know what? Nah, that's not going to make it through the atmosphere. That's okay, I know charge is running out. We're uh, coming back to Earth. Quickly. We've got in the craft 1.4. I don't think that'll work, but uh, whatever. Okay. We just uh, put Sir Isaac Newton in the uh, driver's seat. It's a question of how long will this last for? And will it take the capsule with it? When it goes. Just see if we can slow down a bit. Brilliant, the temperature is actually falling. I'm thinking we'll need the uh, We're going to need that. What's this at? It's climbing again. Yeah, there goes that 
Oh shit. I'm sincerely doubtful of my ability to land this sucker. I can't believe we made that through the atmosphere. Gee whiz. Engines are pretty good as a makeshift uh, the heat shield. <laughs> Crikey. Now, um, how long have we got? We've got 24 seconds. Where's the time to impact? Impact time. Whoop, let's just go. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Fuck. <laughs> Poor Bill. I nearly had it. Nearly. So close. Oh, oh, just click through it. I hate it when that happens. He did. Oh dear. Nearly got it. Nearly, nearly, nearly. So, we're positive in money. <laughs> That's the good bit. Okay, we've got some nice contracts here. Some landed stuff, which we'll, uh, we'll take. This, we only need to get up to a height to do. So we've got four that we can do now from the uh, from the ground. And that'll be for next episode. So thank you very much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time where we continue to try and fight our way through uh, Kerbal Space Program hard mode.